because death is coming to all of us one day we are all going to stand before God and we're going to give our lives into account to a holy God and God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins that we might find forgiveness but my friends you got one shot because it's appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment that means one day you're going to breathe your last breath and your life here on this planet earth is going to be finished and God is going to call your life into account my friends and without the saving grace of Jesus Christ you're going to bust hell wide open and today I'm pleading with you today to think about your soul to think about to think about your life to think about where you're going to spend eternity because it's appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment you need salvation for your soul ladies think about your soul think about where you're going to spend eternity God offers mercy and grace but we must be willing to come to him if not my friends you're going to die and you're going to be judged as a sinner and there's no other salvation but Jesus sir no other way to get right but through Jesus you must come to the mercy seat of Jesus Christ if not your life is going to be temporal you're not going to be here forever and you will stand before a holy God and you will call your life into account and you're going to go to hell without the Lord Jesus Christ yes Jesus give your life to the Lord and get you on this get on the streets and preach the word of God get out here and lift up the name of Jesus Jesus said if I be lifted up I draw all men to myself lift up the name of Jesus lift up the name of Jesus because Jesus is the only way you have to get right with God sir he can bring deliverance, but you must be willing to repent for God's appointed a day of judgment where he's going to judge the world. Sir, you might be able to stick the middle finger at me, but you won't stick the middle finger at God. One day you're going to stand before God and he's going to judge your life. And God can heal that brokenness. God can heal the hurt in your heart. You don't have to keep living in rebellion. You can repent from your wicked ways. Save yourself from this wicked and perverse generation and come to the mercy seat of God before it's too late. Because time is running out, my friends. Oh yes, you're not going to be young forever. You're not going to be pretty forever. You're not going to have all this stuff and all this money forever. One day you're going to breathe your last breath and there will be a day of judgment for you. And today I'm pleading with you to think about your soul. For God is appointing a day of judgment for you when he's going to judge you. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to turn to Jesus. For Jesus says so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to perish. That means you're going to go to hell. That means there's a place for everybody who rejects God. And one day, this world is going to end. Your life here is going to end. And the only thing that matters is the salvation of your soul. You must realize you have sinned. You have broken the laws of God. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means you, sir, in that black truck, you have sinned and broken the laws of God. That means you too, sir, for all have sinned and broken the laws of God. That means all is in need of a Savior, and there is only one Savior, and it is Jesus. Hey, sir, you in the great car, stop being distracted with your life and get your heart right with the Lord. Because death is coming for you. Time is running out. The clock is ticking down. You might not be here tomorrow. 
Make sure your heart is right with the Lord Jesus Christ. For God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God bless you. Security. We need security. But the only sure security is in Jesus. If your security is not in Jesus, my friend, when you die, you have no hope. You have to think about that. Don't get stuck in the world. Don't get caught up in the distractions of life. There's so many distractions. You see that cell phone? That's one of the biggest distractions. Everybody's like zombies on their cell phones. And they don't realize that they're on a collision course with the judgment of God. And today I'm pleading with you to think about your soul, to think about where you're going to spend eternity. Sir, it's appointed once for man to die, and then after that, the judgment. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him, they, that they should not perish, but that they should have everlasting life. This is a whosoever gospel, my friends. Whosoever is willing to come to Jesus, whosoever is willing to repent and turn to the mercy seat of God, which is Jesus, shall find salvation for their soul. And this is what God offers to people. He's offering everlasting life. But you must be willing to let go of the things in this world. Do not love the world or the things in this world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. See, the things in this world captivates the hearts of the people. The money, the materialism, the pride of life, the pride of having a good job, the pride of reputation, the pride of having fancy shoes, is that all you got in this life is material things? Because God is offering everlasting life to you. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. If not, ma'am, you're going to go to hell. You are going to stand before the judgment seat of God, each and every person. And God is going to call your life into account. And I am pleading with you today that while there is still breath in your body, come to the mercy seat of God before it's too late. Because death is knocking on the doors. Do you hear it, my friends? Time is fading away. And before you know it, you're going to die and you're going to step out of this earthly realm and you will stand before God. Oh, we live in a hard-hearted generation. Sir, are you thinking about your soul? Sir, ma'am, are you thinking about your soul? No, everybody's caught up. They just too busy for that God stuff. They say, I don't want that religion stuff. That's what they say. And my friends, let me, I'm going to say this to you. That if you die, ma'am, without salvation, you're going to be judged. And I'm pleading with you today. Ma'am, where's your heart at with the Lord? Think about your soul. One day you're going to breathe your last breath. And all this life is going to pass away. The world is passing away. And the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. God extends everlasting life to people. God extends an invitation to his kingdom. But you must be willing to repent. You must be willing to turn to the Lord. Because death is coming. You can't stop it. I know that you got it in your heart that you're just going to live forever and you don't think about that day when you're going to step out of this earthly realm and you're going to be laid out in that casket, but it's coming, my friends. Oh, for some of you, it's coming quicker than what you think. You might not see next week, my friend. Is your heart right with the Lord? 
For there is only one name underneath heaven that man can be saved, and that is Jesus. Jesus died for our sins. Jesus laid down his life on the cross. Jesus died and on the third day he was resurrected so that we can find salvation. But we must be willing to repent. Man, come on, yeah. Boy, y'all, they, they don't like Jesus in this town. I got to be right here? Hey, tell your boss, tell your boss I said he needs to repent.